Frank, you took out a professional promoter's licence with the Border Control in December 1980. As I understand it, it wasn't necessarily a role you actively pursued so much as you were gaining a lot of momentum with your NBC, so-called unlicensed promotions, and you were actually invited to take out a licence. Yeah, that's right. Um, back then I'd, uh, I'd run a number of shows outside the Bulls jurisdiction. We formed our own uh, organisation called the National Boxing Council. Yes. And eventually... Uh, the Liverpool Flyweight, ex-Olympian. Signed uh, young Keith, uh, signed three fighters up. Like we were in the England team. I think it was Jimmy Steve. Price? Jimmy Price. No, not Jimmy Price. It was Stevie Johnson and uh, Jimmy Duncan. They would have. Yeah. They, I signed those three guys. For the Everybody who follows boxing knows your first world champion was Terry Marsh. Now, I'd like to ask you if you want to. Exodus is a certain fight in your stable. Well, it always happens, as you say, but it's happened. It's happened on a more increasing basis over the last couple of years, and the man on the street or the casual fight fan perceives this notion of some changing of the guard and power shift. Re, uh, yourself, Eddie Hearn. There is some of the claims that people who've left ship, jump ship. Some people are claiming non-payment. As Ricky Burns has been, or manager has been quite vocal about it. Do you have anything you wish to say about people's claims about payments of books? Alex Morrison, 959 called me. This is a, up to the photograph of the camera. You see that? Yeah. I'm, I'm not too old or proud to say that you gave, uh, even though you weren't in the best of moods about it, you gave me a bit of a Jim will fix it moment by calling me to complain and, um, and I'm very grateful for your time today. It's all very well, I just want to make this point, it's all very well people doing, you know, hold it, that book that you refer to, people don't know.